Okay guys, welcome back once again. Anatomy to make our molecular quick revision. Today in this video, we are going to talk about Einstein's AB coefficient. In the previous six part, we have explored a lot of topics from atomic physics. And in this video, we are going to talk about Einstein's AB coefficient. So give the heading Einstein's AB coefficient. Einstein's A and B coefficient. This Einstein AB coefficient is important in the background of laser. Okay. So let's consider that we have two states, state 1 and state 2, atomic state obviously. 1 and 2. It has n1 number of particles, here it is n2 number of particles. Ulta kar diya mene. This is n1 and this is n2. Okay, so just write few lines. Before writing, let me tell you a few things. This is state 1, state 2. What, what may be the possible uh, number of transition? First, let us talk about what are the possible mode of transition. 1 to 2, an absorption may happen. And 2 to 1, emission may happen. Now, to give to get the absorption, you must supply some energy. Otherwise, it will not go to the higher state. But to release from two to one, it can be spontaneous as well as you can make it stimulated. You can apply some external influence, external perturbation, and you can make make it to transit. Okay. So two things we will talk about, one is spontaneous, these two terms will be very important in the in this regard of AB coefficient, one is spontaneous, spontaneous, another one is stimulated. Spontaneous means you are automatic when conscious, okay, spontaneous and stimulated TED. Spontaneous means automatic you can say. You do not need to do much for this spontaneous. Stimulated means you have to give some external influence. Now, let us talk about the probable rate. Probable rate P12 of absorption. Absorption comes under, under the stimulated category. So, probable rate P12 of absorption transition 1 to 2. Basically, it will depends on the states 1 and 2, it will depend upon state 1 and 2 as well and it is also proportional to the energy density, it is also proportional to the energy density of the initial level, energy density of the radiation oh. radiation u nu so what you can write p12 is equals to b12 u nu here b12 is a proportionality constant which is known as the einstein B coefficient proportionality proportionality constant this is known as Einstein's absorption coefficient Einstein's coefficient of absorption of radiation remember this thing whenever we will be talking about a spontaneous this a coefficient will come into play for a stimulated b thing will come here absorption when you talk about absorption so some external influence is necessary for this that is why b is coming okay now n1 number of particles in state 1 is there so therefore the number of atoms in state 1 that 
absorbs a photon and rises thereby to state to per unit time that is the time rate is what will be the time rate the time rate is n1 p12 that is n1 b12 you knew understood so this is the time rate of absorption of photons from state 1 to state 2 now this is absorption and in the spontaneous emission process atoms will come down so what you can write number of atoms number of atoms in state 2 that drops to state 1 by two possible modes of the spontaneous as well as stimulated so firstly let's talk about spontaneous spontaneous transition per unit time each for spontaneous we don't need the radiation density is not important so we are writing n2 a1 here you see u u nu is not appearing and whenever we talk about the stimulated transition and that by stimulated transition stimulated transition from 2 to 1 per unit time that is the time rate is the time rate is n2 stimulated means b coming from 2 to 1 so n to b to 1 then in a stimulated case you need some external things so u will also be multiplied what will happen <coughs> at equilibrium at equilibrium so let me just briefly summarize this thing what is happening so this is state 1 this is state 2 so via absorption this photons are going and while coming down from 2 to 1 two modes are available spontaneous and stimulated so at equilibrium these two rates will be equal at equilibrium the absorption and emission per unit time must occur equally so what we can write if they are equal then n1 b12 u nu this is absorption and what about this spontaneous case n2 a21 plus this stimulated one n2 b21 u nu so if you take u nu common what do you get you get u nu here a, a is the einstein a coefficient simple needless to say still i'm saying it n1 b12 minus n2 b21 okay so we can take b1 to common so a21 divided by we can take b21 common sorry 1 by n1 by n2 b12 by b21 so basically we have taken n2 b21 common minus 1 so this kind of expression we are getting now you knew we ex we know this expression from Planck's radiation law as well okay so you can just compare it with Planck's radiation law <coughs> okay so Planck's radiation law let's write the Planck's radiation law u nu is equals to 8 pi h nu cube divided by c cube 1 by e to the power h nu by kt minus 1 now if i tell this equation as equation 1 if i tell it as equation 2 then comparing these two equations comparing equations 1 and 2 we get b12 is equals to b21 
okay and a to 1 by b to 1 is equals to 8 pi h nu cube divided by c cube okay e non by n to you know e to the power h nu by kt this additional thing you need to know so these many things you get b12 is equals to b21 it means probability of stimulated absorption and stimulated emission are same and you can see spontaneous emission by stimulated emission ratio is varying as proportional to nu q okay so these are the concept of einstein's a and b question i hope you understand this so if any question comes from this you will be able to handle it okay guys so before ending this video let me tell you that an academic goal is going on stay ahead in your preparation journey you can utilize this referral code physics hub to get the maximum benefits this offer is expiring today may 31st you can target for june 2024 or december 2023 and this is my profile on an academy you can follow my courses all the nine units are covered from mathematical methods to nuclear particle all the nine units are there you just need to take a single subscription using our referral code physics hub to cover the whole syllabus of csr net physical science and you can join an academy lot of uh, benefits are there of taking class subscription you get daily live classes part length and full length tests with the dual solutions assignments with the dual solutions proper step set course whole syllabus is covered and many other things benefits are there you can pause and read and take the subscription and put if you don't buy it towards the goal. so thank you very much guys for watching this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon finally thanks for watching